Welcome to this quick joint tutorial. Let's start quick joint. This is quick joints opening screen. These are the menus which should be familiar to any uh, Windows program user, uh, very similar to other menu structures in the other Quicksoft programs. Um, quick joint has four icons. The first one to start a new connection, you can see it in the hint panel. The second opens an existing. This will produce a schedule of all the connections, including um, fittings list, bolt list and weld schedules. And this will print out all the connections within the current project. Let's start a new connection. Now this started the wizard and the first task is to select the type of connection. As we scroll down, um, it was a huge number of different connection types and within these connection types there are variations within them. Okay, we are going to design a simple connection uh, beam to column flange. We can see down here that we can uh, design to Eurocode or BS5950 with this type of connection. Next. Okay, the first job is to select the beam section and I'm going to select a UB457152 by 60. 457152 by 60, grade 355. And it will connect to a column flange, which is going to be a UC203203 by 52. Um, 203, 203, 52, again, grade 355. Now we've got this little button here. You might be wondering what this is with the three dots. Um, if we click here, as the hint says, we could even um, define a custom section shape. So um, that could be quite useful. We're not going to in this instance, so I'm going to cancel out and use the standard sections. OK, so that's the sections input. Next. OK, we're going to imply a shear load of 300 kilonewtons. Um, now, this panel here is for extra shear. This is sort of if, if it was coming into the web, there might be a beam the other side. Or even with this connection, you could have something picking up the other side of the flange. We haven't, so there won't be any um, enclosed, be um, enclosed bearing or double shear or anything like that on the bolt. So we'll just click Next. OK, this is the um, final form that requires input and in this we are going to decide how we're actually going to form the connection um, and for the purposes of this actually I think I'll go for a flexible end plate initially. Um, now it's set up some fairly sensible defaults, it's very intelligent. We've got an M20 bolt selected grade 8.8 .8, which of course is about right and these are the uh, basic layout of the centers. So I'm going to click Next. And we have this form. It's just warning us that we must look at the actual calculations. And I click Finish. And that's it. Job done. This is the connection. We can view the calculations by clicking here. And we see that it's failed on the welds, which is fairly unusual. But let's have a look. We can have a look at that in a minute. And we'll close. We could actually look at it under BS5950. These are the BS5950 calcs, and they have actually passed. But we're going to stick with Eurocode. OK, so it was failing the weld. Let's have a look again. It was failing the weld, only just. Um, but what we'll do is we'll increase the size of the weld. So we look in the diagram, 6 millimeter fillet weld each side of web. All I do is highlight it and click. And let's just put an 8 fillet weld on there. OK. Look at the calcs again. And it's all passed. This is a great power with QuickJoin. It is very simple to make changes. The wizard initially lays out the connection very often gets it right first time.
for moment connections it actually does a bit of design work and will increase the number of bolt rows stiffeners flange stiffeners etc etc um, so we can change anything in here we can change the section size there's a very useful hint panel that comes up when you hover over a section um, even tells you the um, section capacities which can be quite useful and if I click here we can see this form again and we could change the section there I'm going to click cancel so anything in here where it says all fittings grade 275 we can click on that and we can change it we can change the size of the end plate in the same way we can change it says here using standard clearance holes we can change it to oversized holes or slots we can change this cross center here just by typing and these centers down here if we click on them we can insert before so we can that's how we would insert um, additional bolt rows so if I just do this click delete you can see the bolt row has been taken out if I insert after it comes back simple as okay so that's our first connection designed we've got a 3d view which is quite pretty on the more complex connections it can be useful for looking for bolt clashes and what have you but um, and if we want to see the printed results we just hit the results tab we get this reminder come up um, asking us um, to fill out sort of details in the form so we could change the uh, company address on the output project title file description I'm just going to click OK and these are the results for the connection so we can scroll down like so these are the national annex settings um, and this is uh, the actual results so we've got the um, summary table at the top and then we've got the detailed and this is as it this is as it would appear in the printout go back to the drawing and we can hit the calx button and I'll just show you the level of the calculations you'll see this level of detail in all the quick joint calculations um, so you always know exactly what the program has done so you can always be 100% sure that what the program has done is indeed correct right down at the end here we've got the tension capacity which is repeated at the top for summary for the structural integrity now the other thing we can do with this connection is we could rerun the wizard As I say with this we used a flexible end plate rerun the wizard just go next next we can see what it's like with the full depth end plate again here's the calculations again it's failed on the welds um, I just tickle that in as I did before 8 fillet weld job done um, we could change it to a wizard next we'll change it to a fin plate uh, fin plate next finish and there it is as a fin plate the other option was double web cleats um, so that's our first connection designed in quick joint all that remains is to save it give it a name fin one save and that concludes this tutorial